In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this part and this drawing. It's part two of section 7.3, Tolerances. I'm going to start out by creating a new part and a new sketch on the XY plane. I'm going to use a, a, a centered rectangle. Position my cursor at the origin and this will be a 6, tab, 4, tab, enter. That creates a circle, a centered circle, point to the origin, and uh, the radius is, uh, the diameter is 2.5. I'm going to turn on construction and I am going to uh, project my YZ plane and my XZ plane. You notice that uh, I projected this axis and this axis. I turn off our construction geometry. I'm going to draw a circle uh, just here, approximately here in the corner, and That'll be uh, 0.5 diameter. I hit escape, and I'm going to add a dimension from uh, this edge to here, to the center of the circle, and make that 0.5. And from this edge to the center of the circle, and make that 0.5 also. I'm going to mirror the part, the circle, and the mirror plane is going to be this axis that I, uh, I projected and hit apply. I'm going to uh, mirror once more. I'm going to select uh, this circle, uh, this circle, make sure they're both highlighted. Hit enter. And now I'm going to select the mirror line here, this axis that I projected, and hit apply, and done. I'm going to extrude 0.25. I'm going to choose this profile, and hit OK. I'm going to make sure that this is my front view. I'm going to create a new drawing. Place my base view. Scale of 1 to 1. Place a side view. And an ISO view. Right mouse button, create. And so I'm going to add tolerance dimensions with tolerances. But for right now, I'm just going to throw in the dimensions. Uh, let's see, go to annotate. I choose my center tool and put my center marks at these locations. I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to grab this line and uh, drag it across to, to here. Drag these down.
I'm going to escape and I'm going to uh, double click on this dimension and I'm going to add, uh, since there are four of these holes, I'm going to type in uh, 4x space. I'm going to go to the tolerances and for the primary tolerance I'm going to specify uh, just two significant figures. Uh, I'm going to add some tolerances and I'm going to set those at uh, three significant figures. The type of tolerance I'm going to specify are um, see, uh, a deviation. It's referred to as deviation in Inventor. And the upper is going to be three thousandths and the lower is going to be zero. So I'm going to hit OK. And the tolerance will look like this. The uh, 0 0.050 plus 0 0.03 minus 0 0.00. On, in your drawings, you may not have uh, what's shown, what I show here in brackets. Uh, in brackets is the, the dimension equivalent, but in metric. And uh, your uh, installation of Inventor may not include the bracketed uh, number. So you could just ignore what's in the brackets. I'm going to hit Escape and double click here. Uh, the primary tolerance, I'm going to set it at two significant figures, and the second, the the primary unit, I'm setting at uh, two significant figures, and the primary tolerance, I'm going to set it to three. And the tolerance type is going to be symmetric, and both the upper and lower is going to be two thousands. Hit OK, and it'll look like this: two point five plus or minus two thousandths. Uh, these uh, half-inch tolerances, I'm going to set them all at a uh, primary tolerance of two significant figures. Now these uh, four dimensions I'm going to do slightly different. I'm going to uh, uh, set these at a uh, limit stacked and the dimensions will be three significant figures. I'm going to specify that the tolerance, the, the primary tolerances will be at three significant figures also. So the upper is going to be 3.003 .003, and the lower is going to be 3.000. Hit OK, and the, the tolerance will look like this. Once again, you'll ignore what's in the brackets. If, you're, if your installation is not set up with dual dimensions, uh, you'll, the, you'll ignore the, what's in the brackets. Uh, this is the me metric equivalent. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to uh, double click on this and uh, do uh, limit stacked set it to three significant figures and here it'll be uh, plus two plus two thousands plus zero and the lower dimension will be a minus 2.003 hit OK and it'll look like this this dimension I'm going to set it to uh, two significant figures hit OK And likewise, uh, this overall dimension will be set at two significant figures also. I'm not so much concerned with the overall dimensions of the plate. I'm more concerned with the uh, primary location of this hole here in the center, uh, tightening up that, those tolerances. And I'm concerned with the size of these two holes.
so your drawing should look like this. The, your dimension drawing should look like this. Uh, you uh, export to PDF and submit to LMS to complete the assignment.